Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to answer the question, is a high click-through rate on AdMob a bad thing? Okay, so today I want to answer a question that has been asked 11 times over the last 11 videos by Shri Akalesh. Uh, Shri says, Hey Eric, great video, enjoy the vacation. Please reply. Is a high CTR rate bad? Can it lead to suspension of a developer ad mob account? Please make a video on that topic. What's your experience? I have searched a lot on the internet, but I didn't find a satisfying answer. Please at least reply. This is the 11th time I asked. Please reply, please. Okay, Shri, first let me say, I'm sorry I haven't asked, answered this before now. I've seen the comment, but the thing is, I don't really know the answer to this. I, I, can, I, can, I have a few guesses and I have a few assumptions based on my experience so far, right? Which is, uh, by the way, the CTR rate is the click-through rate on an ad. So you show, you show a certain number of ads in your application and a certain number of people are gonna click on it and you have a percentage of how many clicks, how many people are actually clicking through based on the number of impressions. And usually the number is pretty low. It's, it's lower for banners than it is for interstitials. Um, it's like, you know, it's usually 1% or less than 1%. I mean, it's a really low click-through rate, right? So your question is, if the click-through rate is too high, is that, is that gonna be bad? And I think not necessarily. I think it's gonna be a red flag for something to come up because you have to think about it. The click-through rate is going to be is going to be influenced a bit by what you have control over, so you, where you place the ads and things like that. And you shouldn't, it should be, it, people shouldn't accidentally be clicking on it. So that's, that's one thing. So, and it's also gonna be done by the content. So the ad is going to be either a really good ad that people are interested in and they're gonna click on it, or it's gonna be a terrible ad that nobody clicks on. And we don't know who those people are or what those ads are, but Google does know. And they have lots of machine algorithms that go through. And I'm sure that they, if they see something that says, okay, this ad is getting this click-through rate, and except for this one developer on this one app, it's like much higher, I think that would be a red flag. In fact, if it's too high a red flag, they'll probably just shut it down completely uh, and then check it afterwards. Or maybe if it's, if it's on the border, then they'll check it out to see, is there something you're doing wrong? Is your placements wrong or something like that? And the thing, the reason I don't really think about the click-through rate is because that's one of those things I have no control over, right? I can control the number of impressions that I show and the and where I put them in the ads, right? And that's because ultimately it's the user's decision as to whether or not they're going to click on it. And I know there's, you know, I've, t I've had people ask me before about, you know, if you do self-clicking, will you be caught? Yeah, you're always caught. I think, you know, like I've never gotten busted for self-clicking, but I've known lots of people who have, and lots of people who think they're being clever with VPNs and everything like that. And, you know, this is the only reason why I think you would need to know what the click-through rate is, right? And it's different, and I'm sure it's different from different ads, and I'm sure that they have lots of algorithms going through. And I think about it like this, like let's say you have an ad for some, some seminar or something like that, and nobody's really interested in it, and that's shown in your ad, in your app, and nobody's really gonna click on it because they're not really interested. But let's say the new Avengers movie comes out, or like the new trailer becomes available, and they put an ad out for it, and it's in your app that would have a really high click-through rate because people using your app would say, oh, hey, what's that over there? But it's, it's gonna be different across different ads. And this is one of the reasons why the RPM is different too. Right? It will go up closer to Christmas because we have higher quality ads. People are putting more, you know, like they're, they're bidding a lot more on these ads because they're trying to sell more before Christmas and it's gonna drop off after Christmas. I mean, there's a lot more competition. And you just have to think about it in terms of, of Google. If you have a high uh, click-through rate on your ad on your ads, will you get suspended? Maybe if it's too high, right? They might just say something's going on here. They're going to shut it down, right? Or they might investigate it or whatever. But that's going to be a red flag because it's not just going to be your application. It's going to be all the different applications for a specific type of ad and I'm sure it's consistent across all kinds of different applications, right? So for me, the, the only trouble I've gotten into with AdMob in the past has been 
I had an ad that was an interstitial that was loading too slowly. So I was waiting for it to load asynchronously. And then as soon as it was loaded, I showed it. So I start loading it in between uh, screen transitions. And then by the time it load up, if like by the time it loaded, like on a slow connection, the transition had already happened. So they were already interacting and that may have caused invalid clicks. So they shut down one of the ads and then, but it wasn't like a, a self click type of thing. I'm sure they could tell all the different regions is coming from and and it it's random and like it's they just they could tell that somebody's not trying it on so i just had to go through and fix that and appeal it and they put it back on you know job done uh but you know it's just you just have to be honest when you do the ads i, th I think that's just that's the biggest thing. If you somebody who takes out ads, you know how important it is to be honest when you do it. So, Shree, I'm sorry it's taken me so long to answer that question. I hope that makes sense. That's, and a lot of it's just my opinion. I don't work for Google. I just assume that that's the way that it's going to work. I, I don't think you can trick them ever, right? I think there's just your click through rate is going to be what your click through rate is, and it should be comparable to everybody else's click rate click through rate for that ad. So, anyway. Let me know what you guys think. Do you disagree with that? Or do you, do you have anything to add to this? It's not the, the most uh, glamorous of subjects. Anyway, that is it for today. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow.